Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a new uh, gameplay for you as well as an offense uh, that I'm going to show you guys a video that I basically figured out on the fly. Um, if you guys don't know, a lot of the gameplays that I put out are from Draft Champions. I like Draft Champions because you just don't have to. Uh, you don't have to put a lot of time into building a team. I mean, I have a mutt team. Uh, I build it, but ultimately, I just find it's it's, it's easier, it's funner to just build a, te a new team every time uh, and play with it. Plus, it's a better challenge. I like using uh, you know the challenge of a new book uh, pretty much every time because you know based off of what I do on this channel it forces me to find new things and that's really uh, what I try to do so in this gameplay I'm using the Cardinals I know it's one of the more popular playbooks in the game so I really wanted to force myself to find some good stuff out of it before I get into the video though if you guys could do me a little bit of a favor scroll down a little bit hit the like button like shares comments all that stuff really helps out my channel so if you want to show support you can show support that way and if you like what you see make sure you stick around by hitting the subscribe button so first series I'm on offense and I typically run a lot of empty backfield stuff that's typically my favorite way to go the jet touch pass is a really good run play i always try to start off pretty much every game uh that i play with a run play because i want to i want to project that image first i'm ultimately a passer and i find that running first is a better way to set up the pass Plus, it gives me an opportunity to look at his defense. This is the first time I'm playing this guy, so if I call a vanilla run play, it gives me a sneak peek at what I'm looking at. And he's running an obvious man coverage. He's a man cover one with a single eye safety. So my next play, I'm going to base it off of the first defense he runs. I also like this play because when I motion, the running back motions across, the defender doesn't follow. So whether it's man or zone, I have a blocking advantage right off the bat. So very good run play. Since he was running man cover one, I choose the dig curl read. I've never run this play before in my life, but you have two man beaters on the left side. Uh, in the zig and i'm not even really sure if that's just like a stop and go on the on the outside so sure enough like i said people don't change their base defense that dramatically i come out he's in that same cover one um, i streak the x route because i'm thinking maybe he gets past that it might be something he can just beat that jam he's really uptight on him and then all i do at this point is just put uh i just make a slant under the uh the a route there just kind of create two levels of passing this is not necessarily the setup that i'm going to continue with but it's the setup that i start with so it's not a man he runs an axle looks like a cover three so he looks like he's making Mixing it in, uh, and then I get a really, you know, like I said, I have that two levels of passing as the check down over the middle, and I just get that wide open for a very big play, very big catch and run. I'm really going to be using three different offensive schemes. The second one's going to be the single back wing flex close, which I've shown quite a bit. The four verticals is going to be the play uh, that I'm trying to hit him with here, but then when I see, I mean, I keep thinking he's in a man coverage, so I hit him with the, the end around audible once again, which, you know, like I said, I really like these sweet plays. They're very good to run. Um, I don't know. I don't see them enough against people online. I mean, I, I feel like I run them a lot but i don't feel like i see people running them a lot and then on the next play i try to go back to that four verticals play once again i think i see a man coverage once again so i hit him with a zig uh and it wasn't a man coverage but it was good enough so it scores it was open had a little bit of space there on the defensive side. I um, mean, starting off my opponent here, he's coming out. I mean, that's just, that was just a really good juke move, really well timed juke move. Made two guys miss. Then he comes down to three tight end sets, so I'm going to match that with my 4-4 split. Like I said, I have faith for this run defense to really stop anything, and he ran right into it. Nope. Um, so he's going to come out next play. He's going to pass. I mean, ultimately, when people fail at something, they're going to switch it up, and he gets a really good uh, catch and run after the fact. I luckily barely caught him with Richard Sherman. I mean, Richard Sherman's not a very fast cornerback. So that's something that could have been uh, a touchdown if I didn't make the, the diving tackle on time. So third and four, he, like I said, he's moving, hitting me with screens. That's something that I don't run. A lot of people run screens. I'm just not a screen player. When I run, they have no success. When people run them against me, they always work. Uh, next play, he's got the read option, but he really doesn't have a very fast quarterback. You can tell he's upset about that. He probably would run this whole game if he had the option. Nope. Uh, as we stop him there once again with the 4-4 split. Now on the next play, I come out on a smaller defense expecting a pass, and he just beats me outside with a toss. I had no chance there. So he scores. He's going to go for two, uh, which isn't something that I, you typically see this early on. Although I shouldn't say that because you got a lot of jackasses out there. So he runs it in. I probably could have stopped that if I would have guessed run but I, did, I thought he was going to pass so in the next series i'm going to run pretty much every player seeing here the level switch the daggers the play i'm going to pick uh, ultimately when i come out i season that man coverage so i switch over to a run play uh and basically you know just going to try to take advantage of that empty middle uh, and I get a couple yards. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hurry him up, though, because I want to keep him in that defensive look. He motions over last second with his users. Apparently, he must have switched it to a uh, cover two because the A route's just wide open right over the middle. So we're going to go. We're going to hit that for a big play. Like I said, change last second, he had a change of plans, but it still worked out. 
Then we're going to go with that levels wide sale, like I was saying, because I feel like this guy, he's not really following his assignment. So the plan was to hit the running back in the flat the entire time, and sure enough, he did. So whether he's in zones or he's in mans and not covering his assignment, which is typically going to be the running back, that's going to work out for me. On the next play, we're going to choose the mesh, because like I said, he's not following that running back. So I'm taking the shot. He's going to be man to that running back and not follow him. And the second that I see him move in just the slightest bit. Time to get locked. I know he's going to be out of position. This is going to be an easy play. So we hit that flat, and sure enough, we just walk it into the end zone. So really easy play, really easy read. Like I said, him moving around pre-snap on defense is going to set him up a couple times. So now he's hitting me with that screen once again. Uh, like I said, I just don't typically, for one, I don't really typically cover the back either. I mean, I try to leave those underneath and follow the deeper routes, and sure enough, on the next play, gotcha, it works out. So we get an interception. We just lurk the hell out of that, get a little bit of a return, not much. I mean, you got when I got a linebacker, it's not a, a ton of return. I'm going to get and then we're going to go right back to that dig curl read because I was still intrigued by that play so we're going to go with that slant once again although this time we're going to change it up a little we're going to motion across this B route because I'm thinking if it's a cover three that uh, this B route is going to be open right up the seam and this is a little closer to what this play is going to look like although ultimately I have a couple different variations that I'm going to run going forward but this is pretty much it break yourself fool And he just blew his assignment. So we get a touchdown. We pass lead away from that safety. Real easy touchdown. Uh, on the defensive side, I mean, we're starting to figure out his offense. He's running a lot of slants. I'm not going to give this one up. Nope. And then sure enough, we should have had another pick. A lot of people struggle against slants when it comes to man coverage. But if you pick the right route, it's really not that hard. And on the next play, he had that. But it was just an overthrow. And we get an interception. And I, I feel like that one, I don't know. It looks like he should have. He probably shouldn't have thrown that. But ultimately, he's going to go ahead. He's going to hit the exits on that one. See ya. So very next game, uh, we got an Eagles on Eagles matchup here uh, I'm on the offensive side one more time so I'm basically just gonna go right back to the same offense uh, I mean this level sale play a lot of people just like to utilize the running back but since I see he's in a cover too I'm gonna try for something big I streak the B route streak the X route hoping that one of those two will get open Break yourself, fool. And sure enough, the B route's wide open over the middle. So on the second play of the game, uh, we're hitting him with an explosive one-play touchdown. We basically create on the fly once again uh, against this cover, too. So right back to the defensive side uh, on this particular defense. I mean, I'm in a man cover, too. Nifty adjusting. Uh, on the next play, we're going to cover four. I don't typically run a lot of cover four, but uh, that's, the, you know, like I said, it's not a very good run defense for one, uh, especially since I'm in a very small defensive front four. <laughs> so, but we're having some success stopping the run. Like right there, probably could have gotten stopped. Um, I mean, he's moving. So since he ran the ball so much, we come out in a cover two. One of the things with cover two inverts is it's, it's definitely uh, susceptible to swing routes, and he diagnosed that perfectly. He got a really big play out of that. Next play, though, he makes a great read. I'm open! I'm open! I'm open! Over here! Throws it right to my uh, linebacker that I that I put underneath that route. I mean... That's terrible. He was he was definitely covered. I don't know how he didn't see that. Then on the offensive side again, we're hitting with that jet touch sweep again. I mean, I like uh, I like these runs. You know what I mean? Like I like the run empty backfield looks, and this definitely catches people off guard. Didn't really get much on the carry, uh, but it really sets him up for the next play. I mean, when I run those plays, it really sets me up to run these deep plays. So I go with the dig curl read one more time, uh, and based off the fact that you know the last play uh, was a run, a lot of times it just kind of pulls that linebacker up, and that's really all I'm looking for. So on the next play here. I don't know, he user blitzes off the cornerback. I see it. I hit out the flat. We get an easy first to the uncovered man. Then we're going to go back to that play one more time. We're going to try to set up a one-play touchdown. Looks like he's in possibly a cover two. So I do a little bit of a slightly different variation where I streak the uh, the RB route there, thinking that he could pull that safety in the A route, could go right up the middle. And I think it would work. But ultimately, that safety dropped, and it was a cover three. So the X route... We're going to have another one-play touchdown. So I have, I have confidence I would have beat cover two or cover three. And he's going to go to the exits as well. So two really quick games, two really early quits. Uh, if you guys want to see more uh, breakdown of this formation, let me know in the comment section or the Cardinals playbook in general. Let me know in the comment section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching that money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.